Hi, Jim Gehring here from Brown Tool Auctions to tell you a little more about some of the exciting antique tools we have listed in our June 27th auction out in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Plow planes are designed to cut a strip of furrow, and they're used mostly by cabinet makers, and a piece of wood parallel to the edge where you could uh, you know, use it for the joint to uh, a lot, used a lot to, like, to put the uh, drawer sides in a, in a cabinet. Um, one of the problems with a plow plane is always be able to adjust the fence, which rides along the side of the board uh, to get your the correct distance in from the side of the board, how to be able to adjust that for different widths while keeping the fence absolutely parallel to the board. Now, the earliest plow planes just had two arms to hold the fence, so you would have to move them independently, and it was always a problem to get it uh, absolutely parallel. This led to the development of three-arm planes. The idea was you had a central arm um, that would move the uh, fence in and out, where the two outer arms kind of just act as outriggers to keep it parallel. And that way you can just adjust it and keep it parallel at the same time. This is an example of the Chapin Rust patent, which was one of the most successful of the three-arm uh, plow designs. Um, it is technically a number 239 and a half, manufactured by Chapin's Union Factory. Um, it is the version that was manufactured in a couple of different models over the years. This is the version in which the two outer arms are flat pieces of cast iron um, so that uh, the fence will slide in and out on them. And then when you get it, your uh, distance adjusted exactly by using the center arm, you can lock them down with these uh, thumb screws in order to get it uh, locked into position. Um, it's uh, applewood. Uh, wood's in nice, clean condition. It's got uh, a lot of dings in it, of course, because uh, it's, it's, it's an old plane. Um, it has its bias, what we call boxed, which means it's got a box wood strip dovetailed into the fence here, because that's a harder wood, and that presents it from wear. Um, we do have a chip at the tip of the skate here, where the cast iron skate is chipped off a little bit. And like I said, there's some overall dinging to the uh, body. The... Uh, most vulnerable parts of these planes are usually these wooden screws because these have a tendency to chip. And we do have a couple of small chips here. I don't know if you can see them on the screen, but uh, all in all, it's uh, for a you know for a wooden screw, it's in really nice condition. 